In this question, we are being asked to use quadratic math to solve a problem with geometry. If a rectangle's length is 100 centimeters greater than its width, and we know its area, can we find the perimeter? The first thing I'm going to do is define my variables in terms of x. Let's make x equal to the width, and therefore x plus 100 must be equal to the length. My rectangle would look like this. Now I need to use the area formula for a rectangle and plug in the values, my variables and the 200,000 area. Simplifying, I'm multiplying across the bracket and converting my equation into a quadratic. Now I have a choice of using factoring or the quadratic formula to find the two zeros. I'm going to use the quadratic formula this time so I define my a, b, and c, and then I plug them into the delta formula to find the discriminant, which is 810,000. Plugging these values into the quadratic formula, I simplify, and I get two answers, 400 and negative 500. I throw away the negative answer, and 400 must be equal to what I defined x as in the first place. Therefore, the width of the rectangle is 400 centimeters. Since the length is 100 centimeters greater, the length must be 500 centimeters. It turns out that the length, 500, has the same value but the opposite sign as the negative answer that I threw away. And this will always happen. But I'm not quite finished answering this question. The question asks for the perimeter, so I'm going to plug the values of 400 width and 500 length into the perimeter formula. And this shows me that the perimeter of this rectangle is 1800 centimeters. This is how we use quadratic math and the quadratic formula to solve a geometry problem.